What's up guys, it's Alec Mac 111 and I'm home for the weekend, so I decided to go ahead and do the video on my custom gun since it is finally finished. This was built by myself as well as Sure Shot Midget. He did all the internals, I did a lot of the externals. And so we're gonna go ahead and go over the external rundown and then I'll give you an internal rundown of what makes this gun so sweet. And then at the end of the video, I'll have some gameplay footage where I expose a cheater and in his career. So right here we have a Tokyo Murray Type 89 flash hider. This is a super, super old, rare flash hider. Got this on a Type 89 that I think I got four or five years ago and ended up selling. But I kept the flash hider because I loved it so much. I have a Mad Bull barrel on here. This is the Mad Bull silver barrel. I just really like the silver barrels. And then the Mad Bull barrels are really nice and tight too, so they hold the inner barrel in well. Um, but I just really, for some reason, like the silver internal barrel. It's just a personal preference thing of what I like. I also have a ZCI key mod on here, so this is a 13 um, inch key mod on here, and then I have a 14.5 inch barrel. This thing is super cool, and I've done a custom paracord job, as you can tell here. I ended up weaving just the sides about a year and a half ago, and then just like a month or two ago, I ended up weaving the top, and I just think it looks really clean. Uh, it took me a long time to do, but it was definitely worth it, and it just feels really good. And then I also have a BCM vertical grip down here. It's an angled vertical grip, so it's a little bit of an angle. It's I really like it because I can wrap around, and then I can also, it's because of the angle, it's got a steeper angle. I can, it, like my grip locks really well, and I just love that grip so much. And I've tried a lot of vertical foregrips, and this has by far been my favorite one, so I would definitely recommend getting a BCM vertical grip if that's what you're into. Up top, we have a basic T1. This isn't anything special, it's just a normal T1. I don't remember if it's Evike or any of those uh, ones specifically, but it's a, it's a T1 and it works. It's got red, green dot. I use red. It doesn't. It's not the most bright T1 ever, but it works for me. On the inside, I have a ProWin hop-up. ProWin's probably one of the best hop-up systems out there. Work pretty well in the GMP body if you know how to fit them. I have a ProWin. I have a Namazu flat hop. I have a Prometheus purple bucking, and I also have a Prometheus 603 tight bore that fits perfectly and runs right out to the end here before the flash hider gets uh, the, before the end where the, the holes are in it. The body is top is a, just a standard black GMP body. It's got a little bit of weathering, which is kind of cool. I think it's pretty nice. Um, and then the lower is a old school Colt GMP lower, really cool. Uh, my brother got me this for my birthday and it's really cool and he built the lower and then we've just kind of been consistently upgrading it for a long time. I also have some cool externals, which is really cool, airsoftballistics.com. I bought some stuff from them a while ago. And so I have a Punisher logo for the dust cover here. It's got the Punisher skull and then Punisher and some cool lettering. And then on the back with the charging handle, it has a cross and then it uh, has Psalms 144 verse one. It said, blessed be the Lord, my rock, who trains my hands for war, my fingers for battle. So it's just kind of cool that I throw that on there. Um, love it. It's kind of cool that I can say, hey, this is like, this is the Bible verse or something that's kind of personal to me. I run the GMP high RPS mid caps. These fit really well in this body. They're really tight. So they stay in there and they feed really consistently with the pro win hop up and I've never had a problem feeding with them I've had a lot of other mag issues in the past, but these mags feed really well They're pretty affordable and I literally have like 15 of them So I never run out of mags, which is really nice I have a straight trigger on here as well Just like the the way the straight trigger feels and then we'll get to the internals in just a second But there's a reason this trigger pull is so so short on the back I have a super cool stock. This is a mission first tactical uh, backup stock, it's the BUS stock with the, the backup shoulder, uh, or not shoulder, the cheek riser that if I want to use that I can. But this stock's like $150 real seal stock. I had this, actually got this with my PTW and then put it on here because I like it. It's a little bit different and you don't really see it, but the reason I use it more than anything else is because this back is really easy to be able to access battery stuff. And then it's got a super nice rubber cheek well and it just feels really good. I can also throw this on my actual AR-15 if I want, and so it's kind of consistent too with, uh, okay, so I'm gonna play Airsoft one day, I can I take this and throw this on my AR and use it for another day. Also with the backup up here, because it can be raised, I have it raised a little bit off the sock, it just makes my cheek when I put my face mask on there, it makes it align with the red dot sight a lot better, which is really nice. But now I am going to go into the internal list, um, also cover the grip with that because we're gonna go over it. So it has custom, the custom M4 has SHS 12 to 1 gears. It has an SHS metal rack piston matrix M115 spring to get that nice 400 feet per second that it shoots at consistently. SHS steel bushings, ICS reinforced gearbox shell. It's got a BTC Spectre Mark II, which is the reason I can shoot so fast on semi automatic and that it's just consistent. And then I also have a ZCI high torque motor, which also goes in this grip right here. And this is just a PTS grip. It's really comfortable. I love it. 
Um, this gun's awesome. I do have it locked on semi-auto, which is really funny because I get accused in this video of cheating. Hey, Alec, you're cheating, you're shooting semi-auto. I walk up to the ref, I was like, hey, there's semi, there's full auto, so it's funny. This has been Alec Mac one on one and in rep of Sure Shot Midget, remember to give them the 40. I'll link his channel down in the description and you can get his patch there below. This has been Alec Mac one on one. I'll see you guys later. Oh, sorry, Mike. Bang, bang, bang. What's up, guys? It's Alec Mac Holt. Want to hit that button again? <laughs> <laughs>